welcome to one of the most famous performing art centers in the entire world, right in the middle of Manhattan. This is Lincoln Center. And Lincoln Center has been transformed into a huge green lawn, which has been dubbed the green. Today we're going to explore this area and let me know where you're watching from. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanus. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the live stream. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanus. And right now we are at Lincoln Center. Lincoln Center is located right by the crisscross of a bunch of different streets. We got 64th Street, uh, Columbus Avenue, Broadway, they're all crisscrossing each other. The nearest subway station is right here, the 68th Street stop on the one train. And we have a lot of trains that are easily accessible on walking distance to Columbus Circle. So this is Lincoln Center, which is a combination of over 20 different venues. Lincoln Center is famous all around the world for its Philharmonic uh, Orchestra, with, for its opera, and also for its ballet. Now, before Lincoln Center was ever Lincoln Center, it was called San Juan Hill. San Juan Hill was a per, mostly Puerto Rican neighborhood with Italian Americans as well, and Irish Americans. Um, and it was mostly tenements, lower income. This neighborhood was immortalized in the film West Side Story. The original West Side Story musical that opened up in Broadway took place in San Juan Hill. And then the film actually managed to be photographed here in San Juan Hill before it was slated for dem demolition. So they just got here right in time. But then that neighborhood was gone. Puerto Ricans moved to other neighborhoods like Hell's Kitchen or Spanish Harlem. And it was replaced with this huge performing arts center. However, when the performing arts center was around from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, it felt like a fortress because most of this area was still considered quote unquote dangerous. And thus it was very elevated up above the ground. The entrance was very small and it just did not feel accessible from the streets. Thus, if about 10 years ago, they spent about $1 billion to renovate this entire center in order to make it more open and accessible to all. That was quite a bit of money. Well, now 2020 has ravaged the theater industry. Also ravaged all of performing arts. For the past year, Lincoln Center has been mostly closed. And because it's been mostly closed, the powers that be at the center and in the city decided to do something because there's still a few months left before performing arts really can resume because of the pandemic. Thus, they decided to build this huge lawn in collaboration with Mimi Lane who designed it. Originally, she designed it to be actual grass Instead, she uh, vied to go for AstroTurf. Here's the famous fountain. Now this fountain, each individual nozzle is individually programmed. Actually, we see the controls down here are the piping. It's honor, in honor of Charles H. Redison. Wendy says, beautiful, make a wish. <laughs> Will do. You can't throw coins in here. You can't throw coins in here, but I'll make a I'll make a mental wish. Everyone can make a mental wish also. We'll pretend we're throwing a coin. Though I won't make the motion, so they won't come after me and tackle me. <laughs> so let's uh let's make a wish. I hope you made a wish. Keep showing you around. 
if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll show you as much as I can, and then we're gonna sit down at one of the chairs the moment I see one open one, because we're gonna do a bench test. I love this, this is so cool. So here is providing some shade because this is very sunny. There's no really uh, shade here to be had. But I love this. They, they have a little book library over here. Well, let me show it to you. Let's get close. That's cool. It's a little Lindy library. It's a great place to get a little bit of shade. Um, it's nice. Surprisingly, there's only like two or three places with shade. <laughs> so uh, if you come here in June or July, uh, bring some suntan lotion. You get hot. Let's keep walking around. Comfy, comfy wood. Good wood working. Good word working. I love it. It's actually very comfy wood to sit on. So yeah, enjoy a free book. You can enjoy a free book. I think uh, with the understanding, you do return it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a very good reason to come back here to sit in just a little while. Right there, they're actually selling empanadas. It's the only food option I think right now in the park or in the Lincoln Center. So we'll return. Let's do let's do a walk through. Lincoln Center and then um, we'll come back and sit at one of the chairs. Ludo says the park looks really neat. It really does look neat. I think so. I really enjoy the look of the park. So we'll get back to the green in a bit and we'll do uh, some public mastication. Mastication, which means eating food. Um, we're going to eat some empanadas. We're going to try those empanadas. See if they're any good. Or as Americans like to say, empanadas. Are people allowed to bring their own chairs? No. <laughs> Security will tackle you <laughs> if you bring your own chair. <laughs> they will tackle you while you're sitting in the chair. Unless if you're uh, mobily impaired, uh, you legally have a wheelchair. Of course, you can. I think you're, you're keen. you can roll around in your wheelchair. Susan says, give a look, I, I didn't notice any. Uh, did I pass by one? Let me know. Are you allowed to bring a ball? No, Ethan, if you bring a ball, security will tackle you as you're throwing the ball. <laughs> uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, so the security won't tackle you. They don't do that here. Uh, but yeah, most likely you can't bring a ball. You can't bring a ball, and I don't think you can bring your own chair. Hey, Bar, you just found my channel. Hey, Jackie says, uh, security would take pity on me. I need my own chair. <laughs> no worries. Uh, we'll, we'll test the chairs, Jackie. I'll let you know how they feel. There's a lot of chair options here, though. Uh, you don't need to stick to the green area because this. I love the Lincoln Center. It's actually one of my personal favorite places to hang out in. And there's these. Now, this area we're walking through is used for a lot for outdoor events and will be used soon to bring back the performing arts. This is called Restart Stages. So it's a new type of event that they're doing now. And they really made the stage a lot more elaborate this year because it used to be a little bit smaller. Uh, they used to have like live salsa every single summer. Hopefully they'll bring that back this July. Famous salseros like Eddie Palmieri, who's one of my favorites. He's already very, very late age now. I think he's 90 or something. Uh, he still does concerts here on an annual basis. So check out Restart Stages. Hey, Mary Jane from IF Vlogs. Welcome. What a shame, Mary Jane. Nice to see you here too. Welcome. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Kathy. Wendy, what ex what wonderful indeed. Bring them back. Be exciting for you. Yeah. Zoom in on the stage. 
socially distant everyone <laughs> socially distant <laughs> uh, i'm laughing a little bit because it looks a bit creepy um it looks like out of like a, a horror film where everyone's been replaced with aliens uh, you know like the stepford wives I know that the uh, the pandemic has been terrible, and and it, it, it's nice that these theaters are indeed taking precautions in order to restart it. And uh, indeed, a lot of the people who who are patrons of Lincoln Center are indeed in their later age, uh, so they're more vulnerable. So I do understand. I just just found it a little bit silly looking at it. Let me know if you uh, think so as well. Buena suerte tu viaje, dice Ronald. Oh, gracias, Ronald. Um, ya mismo voy a Ciudad de México para cualquier persona que está mirando Latinoamérica. Va a ver más contenido en español cuando voy a Sudamérica. Oh, no. um, yes, I'm going to Mexico City soon. Stay tuned. All right, let's go to the other side and see what's up. So this is uh, the Metropolitan Opera. It's a big deck. And you can sit down on this big deck and under the shade, which is nice. So there's some chairs and tables on this big deck. Ah, look, some patio chairs. This is nice. I really like how they made this more of a public space. Hey, Ariel, welcome. The other Ariel, uh, the executive producer of my car tours. Are any new viewers joining us? Yes, let us know. Okay, thank you so much for reminding me. Uh, if you're watching for the first time, do let me know. Adri, Looking forward to see DMX. I'm so glad. Let's watch Mexico City Ariel's tours filled with historical info, entertainment, fun stories, says uh, my dad. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Dave. Nice to see you here. So this is nice. Look at there did not have this much public area before uh, 2021. It was mostly relegated to this side, which let's go right now. I'll show you my favorite spot in the entire city. Uh, please don't tell anyone. Please keep it to yourselves. This is my favorite spot in the entire city. We're walking to it right now. The other side of Lincoln Center. Wendy says, I can't wait for Mexico City. Be the best, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kenya. Says, okay. You won't tell. All right, God. I'm glad. Hey, Steve. Steve. Good afternoon to you, too. Bar says it will be a, a secret. Thank you, Bar. I appreciate that. Why is it your fave? Oh, I'll explain soon. I hear music also being played, so this is nice. Let's uh, show you the... Oh, they covered the Chagall. So here they had huge paintings by Chagall, famous painter, known for his gigantic paintings, and they covered it. No, why? Why did they cover it? What's the point of that? I guess because they turned off maybe the air conditioning and they want fungus to spread or something like that, maybe. Yes, everyone, pack your bags because I'm going to Mexico City tomorrow. Julio says I will be Chilango soon. Chilango means uh, like uh, Mexican, Mexican from city of Mexico. Uh, so it's like New Yorker. For Mexico City. <laughs> See, we said Chilango, yeah, people. Um, stay tuned tomorrow at around, and I can't give you an exact time, but if you want to see an airport stream at JFK inside the terminal, stay tuned around 7 30. Actually, it may not be around 7 30. Around 7 30, yeah, give or take 15 minutes. 7 30 a.m.
show you the can't wait until the theater is open Ibrahim well I speak English when I'm in Mexico my videos will continue being in English uh, but I will use Spanish in order to get around in order to chat with people yeah I'll be using Spanish uh, but videos will be in English I'll just have a little bit more Spanish uh, because I think I'll, we'll have a few more Latin Americans tuning in as well Ooh, pretty yeah I agree it's very pretty I have a video all inside on Facebook in the Urbanist Era Archives. Go on Facebook, search it up. I did it one in early 2020, shortly before the pandemic. It's sanctimonious to protect Chagallas from the sun, says Jackie. Yes. Oh, so it seems like we can't get in this way. Let me see. I think they're the they're they're having a performance. Yeah, they're having a performance. So this is my favorite area in all of New York City. Just like my personal solace. Solace, if you don't know the word, it just means a place of relaxation, a place where you find peace. Right here. Under these trees, the chairs they always have are very comfy. They replaced them, I think, for because it's now like technically a venue, at least for today. But it is gorgeous. By summertime, it's an open air theater now, says Trisha. Yeah. See if they end up playing something. Okay, he says, don't forget to pack mosquito spray. You would need that also in New York, by the way. Uh, so yeah, thank you for reminding me. So the entrance is located at 65th Street. So another favorite place of mine is right here. And it's the theater of Lincoln Center, the cinema of Lincoln Center. Yeah, thank you. Janice, Janice says that she is recovering from the second shot. Um, Janice, I wish you well. I know, I know the symptoms can be pretty bad, uh, or the side effects. I mean, the side effects can be pretty bad of, of the vaccine. So I hope that you you feel well. Everyone, send um, the um, hearts to Janice for feeling better. No sound is gone. Oh. Did I run out of sound? What? No sound again? Let me know. Uh, it shouldn't be. I should have sound. Let me know. So here's programming. All the companies that are having programming. Thank you so much, Susan. For letting me know. You have sound. All right, so this area is closed. I'm not sure why it's closed. Let's see. Oh, so this is mostly meant for little kids. There. And you can grab a place to rest right underneath it as well. And let me see if I can find one of the chairs. They're empty. Hey, Edward says, I went to Star Wars concert in the New York Philharmonic in Lincoln Center and I cried. Coffee on me. Edward, thank you so much for sponsoring a uh, coffee. 
probably get myself an empanada with those uh, five euro. Thank you so much, Edward. That's so awesome that you saw Star Wars. I would love to see Star Wars. I would love to see uh, Clint Mansell, who I think sometimes performs here. He's done uh, the score for like Working for a Dream, The Fountain, Noah, a bunch of other films. Uh, so that's amazing. Let us know what have you seen here in Lucas Center. And thank you so much, Edward, for the super chat. All right, let's go. Let's go get some empanadas. Empanadas. So that's how that's how it's pronounced here in New York City. Hey, how's it going? I'll have a chipotle chicken. Actually, no. I'll have a al pastor and I'll have a short rib, please. Al pastor and short rib. Yeah. Thank you. You can get two bananas and I'll do it for 12 dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll have the sparkling water as well. Okay. Thank you. Ah, that's No, just uh one two empanadas and the drink. And what else do you uh, the sparkling water, uh, no flavor. Okay, it was a short rib and a alcastor. Yeah. And, uh, and sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, you worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, awesome. I ended up wrong with this. Yeah. I heard they're opening a coffee stand. Are they opening it soon? A um, coffee stand? Every in... week there's going to be something different here. Oh. So we're here until Sunday. And yeah. Then Oh, it's, it's going to be on Sunday that they come here. Yeah, every Sunday it'll change over. Oh, that's really cool. All right, awesome. All, all, all the way to October. All the way to October. That's, that's very good news. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So now, I've got to find a place to sit. $12 for two empanadas and the sparkling water, it's okay, good price. We are in the middle of Lincoln Center after all. Yes, I see a chair, let's go. Let's do a bench test. All right, bench test everyone, are you guys ready for the best segment here in New York City? Oh, bench test. Is it natural grass? No, it's astro turf. Are you ready for a bench test? The one bench test to rule them all. Let me know. Gotta take off my jacket. Put it around the bench. All right, let's do the one bench test to rule them all. This bench is a grassy bench the first grassy bench to be featured in <laughs> in, new, in new york city uh and it's almost like i stared, scared off the guy indeed i did indeed i did bench tests can be quite intense so that's why you know people tend to stay away <laughs> let's try this bench i put my jacket over the bench oh don't want to lose my napkins soy based grass oh thank you so much my correction, everyone correction, it's a soy-based grass. Sorry, my fake grass knowledge is not up to par. We'll sit on this bench. Oh, whoa. It's nice. It's a, it's a bit tight on the legs. I'm a big guy. I mean, I, I'm 5'2", a pure muscle. Um, it's a bit... I can't move my legs. Okay, I'll show you. This is not to get too inappropriate with the angle, but you could get perspective of my legs. It can't, I can't stretch. I'm like limited to here. Indeed they are. <laughs> Everyone's curious about this bench test. A bench test is very, very intense very serious affair so it is no wonder that people 
are looking at it with curiosity and or scared of it, like the gentleman that was sitting here before. Can my feet touch the ground? Me being a 5'2 of pure muscle, um, yes, my feet do touch the ground. It is pretty high, it is pretty high. So, but the slope, the actual slope of it, it's good, it's good. I imagine my calves would get tired if I sit here for like an hour. This would probably not be best for the calves. So that ticks off a point. Not good for calf support because there's no good lumbar support. The slope is nice, so it's good for sitting for maybe 10 minutes or so, 20 minutes or so. But you're gonna get leg cramps here, I think. I'm already starting to feel them. Um, but the astral turf itself is very comfy. So it's almost like very pillowy and very soft. There is no, there is no bird poo. Nope, no bird poo. Unless if uh, Steven the seagull decides to uh, poo on top of you. Will these get dirty? I don't know. Does uh, soy based grass get dirty? <laughs> Let me know. So it is comfy because of the soy based grass. Sorry to offend anyone who I said it's astroturf. <laughs> and there's no bird poo, which is nice. But you're right in front of this. So the people watching, it goes, it's a higher score because of the people watching and the fountain watching. So I would say leg cramps, bad. Size of the chair, bad. Soy base grass might get dirty if this is around in a few months. It might actually be very unpleasant to sit on. I don't know. We gotta come back. No bird poop plus. Good views, good people watching, good fountain watching. That's a plus. And it is comfy. So I would give this. The leg cramps are really going to suck. I would give this, a, to be honest, I would give this a 6.9. And that's generous. That's generous. It's a generous 6.9. Because of the views. Because of the uniqueness. 6.9. But I'm being generous there. No cup holders, no. No cup holders, no. No cup holders. Alright. Start eating until, <laughs> until getting numb in there. All right, so let me show you the empanadas. As you can tell, I'm practicing my Spanish. So, estoy practicando el español mío para estudiar de México, Mexico, uh, y voy a comer empanadas. So one empanada is is a uh, vegan apastor. We're gonna see some real apastor in New York City. I mean, in uh, Mexico City in a bit. Stay tuned. And we got short rib. Short rib is actual meat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off my mask. Security gonna come and tackle me? No, okay. All right, security guard. It's okay. I'm eating, security guard. I got food. No, not, not, not for you, for, for me. That's why I'm eating here, security guard. Okay. Okay, he just gave me the nod. He seems like he's not gonna tackle me. Okay, all right, let's try that. Got no tackling going on. Still staring at me though. Let's try it out. Mm. It's good. This is the vegan apastor. Apastor, you're gonna learn more about its history when we go to Mexico City, so stay tuned. Definitely doing at least one video specifically about apastor. 
it's uh, come from Mexico via Lebanese immigrants and other Middle Eastern immigrants. And um, this has pineapple on it. The, the meat, quote unquote, is seitan, which is I think like a tofu. So it's like a, it's a vegan pork, basically what they're making. Yeah. It's good. I can tell, I can taste more of the pineapple. So it is very sweet. It's weird. It's weird. Panagotas, say, panagotas. Like your name, what do you mean? It's weird. It's a bit spicy. The pineapples are almost a bit too sweet, which makes me think this is canned pineapple and not real pineapple or fresh pineapple. Because I tried up a store before and the, the, the pineapple is not so kind of, has that candy quality to it. Is it warm? It is warm. It is warm. It's a bit, it's a bit hot in terms of spiciness. Not my favorite, not my favorite. Let's try the short rib. Good enough for a snack, but not my favorite. So let's try the short rib. Oh, Satan this. Oh, Panagotis. Like, like your last name, Satan. Yeah, I'm not sure what Satan exactly is. Let, let me know what Satan exactly is. It's also soy-based meat. Let, let me know, I think so. Short rib. Oh yeah. This one's a lot better. So short rib is beef. Uh, tastes very similar to what you would have in like um like in um I would say like in the English style beef pie because there's some carrots and some potatoes and some onions. So this is a short rib empanada. It is really good. This one's nice. I like the, the quality of it. Yeah. This one's the better one. So I would recommend the short rib empanada. Makes for a good, good snack. Hey, how's it going? I am indeed. What's your names? Where we did we meet? Where did we meet? Oh, from the distance. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Yeah. Good. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Yeah. When I say things. Like, oh, this is Winter Center, it's been here since the 60s. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> so when you say things... But, I mean, you made it up correctly in this well, case. This, 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 this is an art form to make it. <laughs> it is. Oh, cool. How do you, how do you, Are you live right now as well? Am, hey, everyone. Guys, how's so it going? I love my guys. Yeah. And I want them to go see the real deal. Oh, oh cool. I'm honored. Guys. Thank you. You're a big fan. Yeah. And I want awesome to do this down and... Actually, when we were walking over here, it was the building, the PG&E building. One of them had no windows. Yeah. And I thought, you'll know what it is, because we know. He thought it was a bomb shelter. Who knows? Oh, uh, cool. But, dude, we, we don't want to take up any more of your time. But I'm glad you guys are guys. exploring around. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, just go, go the grass and walk around. And, and did you uh, try the tasty empanadas? I did. They're, they're pretty good. I would give them a, a, yeah. a mild recommendation. Everybody, <laughs> yeah. nice. anybody, who, anybody who does the live stream knows you're the best in the city. You're really, really good. I admire oh. you a great deal. So happy to have you. Yeah. He was waving at you. I don't think that's him. Oh, I th yeah, I because I thought you were waving so. past me. <laughs> you know that happens sometimes when it's people like, are like all the guys you. were here yesterday. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So if my guys want to go see. It's just the easiest way. It's just the urbanist type of it in. Urbanist exploring cities. And you're Bougie Bob. I'm Bougie. Boogie. Oh, Boogie. Boogie, boogie. boogie. Oh, boogie. <laughs> boogie Bob. Okay. Oh, that's Bougie. Like, like boogie. the Boogie down <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, I, you know, one of the reasons I started my channel. Oh, really? You're walking down, when you're down in the village and you're doing some of those things, you're talking about the Brooklyn Bridge, and you're talking about the West East over here, you know your stuff. Oh, wow. Know. Were you watching YouTube? Uh, yeah. Or was it on Facebook? I've seen everybody you have. I've oh, seen, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Him and I were but talking. did you see him in Central Park yesterday? 
Yeah, I did. I did Central Park yesterday. Yeah. But I'm a big Central Parker, so I might yeah. have you here. Yeah. The problem is, you're going to know that the Bow Bridge was made in 1949 by Johnson and so oh, yeah. <laughs> He's an encyclopedia. I wing it. I wing oh, cool. it. I say, oh, oh. the old bridge. This yeah. is the guy, guys, you want to go check out a really great channel. Leave me now. Come back later. <laughs> 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 I really Watch enjoy. me afterwards. <laughs> Keep on watching. Absolutely. Press that like button for uh, Boogie Bob. So that was awesome meeting you. Nice Thanks. to see you Thanks. again, man. You Have again. a great day. Yeah. Okay, so that was uh, Boogie Bob. Uh, awesome guys. He says that he was inspired by my channel, uh, which is a big honor. That's so awesome. So thank you, Boogie Bob. If you did not hear him, he was basically saying that he's inspired by my channel. Uh, he really enjoys the history I talk about. He's been doing these videos for a few months, it seems, and um, he does live streams walking around. He's not like goes too deep into history but he walks around and shows the city that's awesome that's really cool and his friend who has said hi before uh when i collaborated with action kid so that's really awesome all right let me eat a little bit more of this um empanada which is pretty good eagle spray says i ain't gonna need suntan lotion indeed i will indeed i will but there i go mexico city with a very nice tan <laughs> Hey, uh, Ariel the Inspiration. Oh, I'm so glad. Streamers getting streamed on each other's stream. What a small world, says Ludo. Ludo, yeah, what a small world. <laughs> I think the other day he had someone find him and... Uh, oh, no. Yeah, Kurt. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, Jackie, the world is a movie set. Smile, you're in camera, candid camera. Indeed you are. He gives a dollar when he sees a... Oh, I'm a small... All right, cool. Who left the super chat? Uh, Panagiotis, thank you so much for the five um, euro super chat. I appreciate that. Mm. So Kay has a great, great question. Are they frozen? I would say the ingredients aren't that high quality. So it doesn't taste as fresh as going to an empanada truck in uh, Queens, for example. Doesn't taste that fresh. There's other places here nearby, a place called Mama's Empanadas, which has a much higher quality empanada. They don't taste frozen, but I can't tell you for sure. They don't taste frozen. I think they make them in mass and then uh, heat them up. Uh, when you order or they already have to have them like in a mild heat throughout the day Yeah, that's that's why I can tell but it does it does have a slight taste to it being more fast food <laughs> And of a little kid staring at me <laughs> Playing around with the grass chair Got to lay down Hey, uh, Janice. Yes, you feel better. All right. Let me have a little bit of sip of this uh, sparkly water Let's sit somewhere else Let's sit somewhere else, shall we? Let's go. They look a bit dry. Yeah, I would give a mild recommendation. If you're here really hungry, then yeah. There's a uh, there's a, a few great coffee shops nearby. Truly, on which neighborhood are you going to stay at? I will be talking about the neighborhood I'm staying at and the Airbnb towards the end of my trip. All right, so I'm standing up and I'm going to go sit down. Oh, my God. My legs are cramped. I knew it. Damn chair. Damn chair. 6.9, but comes with suffering. Hey, how's it going? Can you give me one favor? <laughs> what? Can you take a picture? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Take a look. One with the glasses on and one with the glasses off. All right, cool. Oh, good. Got it? All right. This is center. Like what? You got it? Yeah. And then one glass is off. Let's do it. Good man, sir. There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem, man. It's cracked, but dizzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. All right. Let's sit on... Let's sit on the slopes. Let's get on the slopes. How long are they keeping the grass? Uh, through, throughout the year, I think into October. Until October. 
they're doing the grass thing. So I'm gonna sit down there. I'm gonna test how it is to sit on the slope. Let's do a slope test. Is it a good slope? Is it a bad slope? We'll see. How far can we go up? There we go. Okay, definitely bring some suntan lotion. Oh! Okay, the sun is beaming right in my eye, but oh, this is so comfortable. If it were a cloudy day, this would be amazing. Or if you want suntan. Oh, wow. And the grass is like warm. Oh. That feels good. I'll show you the view in front. Oh, that's so, that's amazing. Yogi Bear asks, what's my name? It's Ariel. Oh, this is amazing. But I'm gonna get crazy heated up. So let's keep walking around. Let me know if you have any last remaining questions of what you would like to see. Have a great day, guys. I'm the foodie here, too. Very cool. All right, so that was one more time. That was Lincoln Center. Hopefully, they bring a very good coffee shop to be here. That's what they said uh, originally when they were planning their thing. So that's that. I would recommend it. It's fun to sit down on the lawn. If it's a sunny day, bring yourself some good suntan lotion or a hat and enjoy the beautiful sun. If it's a cloudy day, you're gonna really enjoy. You might just fall asleep and have a nap. And uh, Empanada Place, it's okay, it's okay. So it's nice for a bite, but there's a lot of bites nearby. If I were to recommend a coffee, go to Joe Coffee. It's only uh, three blocks away. Joe Coffee, it's really good. Across the street, there is the Smith. And the Smith is a very great brunch place. So if you really want to kind of stay here in high style, buy from the Smith to pick up. And they're very quick with picking up. It's a very good, big restaurant. Uh, classic American brunch items. And uh, eat over here, have yourself a picnic. And that might be a very good alternative. And it seems one of my other favorite restaurants is reopening, I think. PJ Clark's. Right over here. So everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I gotta go back to researching for Mexico City, reading about the history, the food and the architecture and i will be going live most likely permitting that there's good service in that terminal around 7 30 a.m give or take on the airport so i could do a short airport stream uh, that's new york city time and then i might be doing if there is service on the airplane as i'm landing towards mexico, mexico city i might be going live around 11 50 give or take hopefully who knows uh, Crossing fingers, I can actually do a live video, but I, I, I'm not too sure. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in. I'll see you in Mexico City nonetheless on Saturday, 1 p.m. New York City time, 12 p.m. Mexican time. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Thank you so much, Ludo, for the super chat. Was that Ludo? Ludo, yes. Thank you so much. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a good day, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.